This is inverted vitrectomy. Minimally invasive fake macular on retinal detachment vitrectomy with endolaser and intraocular gas. The patient is fake. I start here a core vitrectomy. There was a bit of a vitreous hemorrhage with some hazy media. Cortex cleavage must be performed. It is possible to see here a touched versus detached retina. Trimming the vit base is a must and of course watching the lens. The macula is uh, pretty well attached. The temporal peripheral retinal detachment can be noticed and the retina is quite mobile. A horseshoe tear is found and I hold the cutter still right next to it, the cutter opening facing me. Vitreous attachments should be removed thoroughly. I turn cutter now facing the retina. See that I'm draining subretina fluid through the hole. It is time now for a T-shaped retinotomy, very focused, so as to help in the drainage process and remove additional subretinal fluid. I like to observe the macula after these steps to make sure it is not involved. The area is pretty well attached. I like injecting perfluorocarbon PFC to make sure retina will stay attached and stable. Endolaser has a very good uptake now with PFC and I do it peripherally as well. Of course, the lens should be watched at all times and the eye should be turned towards the direction of the cutter so you move the lens away from its shaft. An air fluid exchange is now performed. I now remove PFC with a backflush cannula and you should go after the last droplets at the most dependent position. If you think it's necessary, you may use a macular lens for that reason. And that's it. I appreciate your attention.